Hello everyone and welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I am your host, Chelsea Lynn. And I'm your host, Paige Jen. Hello. I, hello. I have a surprise for you in my purse. <laughs> okay, starting off strong here. Yes. All right. Um, okay. Oh, I'm nervous. So, want to guess what it is? Well, it looks like... Can you sa- hear it? It sounds like it's in a Ziploc bag, maybe. What is that, honey? Okay, so this is a book. <laughs> This what? is the book that oh. Brett's dad, Russ, found in the bathroom at the airport. <sighs> and uh, Great job remembering that. It's called Letters to Penthouse. Okay, you have it. I, in just, a- wa- <laughs> I just want you to read one page <laughs> or like a little oh sentence. Oh, my God. He found this in the When Wild Meets Raunchy, the editors of Penthouse Magazine. Wow. On the back it says, you hit the sexual jackpot. We were all reading it with Ross, and okay. he goes, "Okay, that's enough. I gotta." What? Mm-hmm. Should I just start he off? He jacks with the... off to it. What? <laughs> yeah, he found it in the airport bathroom. Hold on, some guy, guy left, left it. it. Hold on, he jacks off to this, which I've heard he does. Yeah, so I said I'm gonna take it to he. He gifted it to Brett in that Ziploc bag when we were leaving their house after Christmas. They're just like, hurry, you might need this, son. And then, and then um, I'm like, I'm going to bring that to Chelsea for the pod. Oh, okay. I'm going to read it. Okay. This one. Okay. Oh my God. This looks like a page that's like really broken in. He's been on that one. What are the chapters? There's like 10 chapters, I think maybe. This chapter is swinging and swapping. Ooh. Ooh. Should I just read? Well, and he said yeah, what he does is he line. pretends one of the characters is my mom. And I'm like, oh. I am done. <laughs> I don't know where to start. I don't know. I don't see any. Okay. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Okay. All right. I'm reading this, all right? Okay. When I came out, Connie moved away from them and embraced me with a long, lusty kiss and asked if I had something she could fuck me with. My husband volunteered. (laughs) That's pretty good. We try to keep this podcast not all about sex, but every fucking episode, we're like, I mean, we start off just fucking strong, dude. (laughs) <laughs> Maybe one episode we could just read an entire chapter. Right. Okay. <clears throat> My husband volunteered that I had a strap on and went to retrieve it. In a blur, Connie had the cock strapped on and help from Hal and Greg. Nearly as fast, she turned me around and bent me over the edge of my bed. She penetrated me with swift authority. Far more developed than our last encounter. She knew she was doing what she wanted. Showing some perfection in the art of making love to a woman, I was wildly aroused by her forcefulness, and she fucked me from behind and took my breath away. <laughs> you are how, very good. Uh, how could you read and just <clears throat> what be rubbing your? Could you, would I know. You? How could you deliver just sitting there, like what? That's some the pages old would be moving. Yeah, it's before you know Pornhub videos. Can I just say it's like the '80s? You got to respect it. Oh, I respect the hell out of this. Mm-hmm. That's multitasking. Oh, it makes me love Russ even more. Okay? <laughs> and I was obsessed with him before. <clears throat> Who would take a book out of a bathroom at the airport where you know some guy has nutted all over these pages? Can I read another paragraph? Cause yeah. That, oh, yeah. Okay. And I want to say, I would love to to read a paragraph on the pod all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why I had to bring segment. it on here. Are our listeners okay with that? Yeah. Okay. They're, well, we don't know, but. All right. I'm gonna, uh, this is a random, a random. One more. Okay. Please just let me do this. Let me have this. Let me have this. Okay. When we reached the house, we settled ourselves on the long couch in our temporary living room, <laughs> enjoying the lovely v- view across the bay. I made myself comfortable between my two lovers. Oh, this, this uh, chapter is called Three for All. Um, here, where was I? Where, where was I? I made myself comfortable between my two lovers, feeling warm and horny at the thought of the night to come. I rested my right hand on All Star's thigh and placed my left hand on Grant's, and began and began car- caressing them, enjoying the feel of their muscular legs through the denim of their jeans. 
All Star's left is his name All Star. Okay, All Star's left arm was resting on the back of the couch, and he was fondling my breast and tweaking my nipple. My right nipple has a ring through it, which makes it incredibly sensitive and easily aroused. I'm obsessed. Yeah, this is just and getting that, going. And that was light. When the things I was reading in front of us were like, and he sucked on my clit, and I okay. I'll find give give, give me a, a few days with that month. This month, <laughs> give me a highlighter, and I'll yeah. find give me a highlighter and some paper clips. Can you try to rub one out to it? I don't think I could. I'll try. Just use your imagination. I know. Just I, pretend sh- it's Greg. You want me to bust or not? <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Okay, so moving on from letters to penthouse <laughs> when wild meets raunchy. Um, what's been going on with me? Oh, I just got back from Dallas. I haven't seen any of y'all. For like a week. Yeah, I was in Dallas. Um, if you follow me on socials, you'll know that I was there and I was getting, um, well, Justina's teeth were getting fixed. So um, I will have a vlog of that. I have to go back in a month and we have to finish and I will, I've I've vlogged the whole thing and everything. And I want to say, and I will put this in the vlog because we filmed it, but I'm not going to say what it was because I want you to watch the vlog. I got him blocked. Somebody blocked him on Tinder because of something I said. Hmm? (laughs) What? And you can't talk about it? Well, I can, but it's so funny. I want you to watch the vlog. So we're sitting there and we're in, we're in an antique store. It's me, Justina, and Becky. And he goes, got a match on Tinder. And I'm like, ooh. He goes to open it. And some guy had messaged him and said, hey, honey's big fan here. Uh-oh. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and say what I said. I don't give a fuck. Thank you. I, can't I, I know. It, it's driving me nuts. It's driving me nuts. The guy goes, hey, honey's big fan here. And Justina goes, Hey, honeys, thank you here. Hey, honeys, you're cute here. And the guy goes, hey, honeys, new teeth look great here. And at that point, Justin goes, ooh, he's a flight instructor. And I said, let me see your phone. I said, can I say something to him? And Justina goes, you can say whatever. And I said, <laughs> Uh-oh. I go, I go, hey, honeys, I see, you're in fl- I see you're a flight instructor. Why don't you fly that dick straight into this mouth? <laughs> And the guy blocks Justin. <laughs> <laughs> blocks him, dude. He probably thinks Justin's just saying this shit. Poor Justina. Oh my. He didn't care. He didn't. We were laughing about it. Yeah, Justina doesn't give a fuck. No, that's no. so funny. Blocks though. Do better. Blocks. I'm like, you're on Tinder, motherfucker. Like, that's yeah. what that's for. And if you watch her content, you know, <laughs> you know, Justina's horny for some dick. Yeah, Justin, no. Justina would never say that on his uh, her own. Mm, 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 maybe. No. No. No, not right away. Not right, not away. right away. That's fucking funny. Well, we had a blast in Dallas. Um, Justina got her teeth fixed. Um, I will say this. You're going to love the vlog. Dr. Kenny Smiles from Garland, Texas did it for free. It would have costed $40,000. And that's... Because you guys vlogged it and well, yeah, but we what? I met him. He came to my show in Dallas, and met him through the meet and greet line. Was a cool motherfucker. Told me he was a dentist. Wanted to look at my teeth, and I was like, okay. I showed him my teeth. I did have a little chip right here in mm-hmm. this tooth, and he was like, come to the office tomorrow. I'll fix it. And I was like, what? Put a veneer on this motherfucker. It was eleven hundred dollars. Did it for free. What the hell? He was like, he was like, bring Justin and I'll fix his teeth. I was like, oh. what? We were there seven hours. That is the kindest human just to, because that's a lot of work yes. and expensive and a lot of his time too. Yes. So, yes. And that's so nice of you to go and take him. And Oh, I, ha- I had you, to. Yeah, you have to. And we had a wonderful time. And but, um, and you guys, go follow, go follow Dr. Kenny Smiles on YouTube and Instagram. He's hilarious. He's not just a dentist that, like, like he. He's a funny, great dude, guy. he's. Me, if I were a male dentist, he's so fucking nasty. He's, f- <laughs> dude, we did a video. Like, when I was in there doing this tooth, mm-hmm. he, we, we did a video. He filmed it for his YouTube. And off that video, he got, um, he has a, a meeting with the board of directors from the state of Texas from that video. <laughs> what? what? They're the? trying to take away his license. <gasps> 
He because of the video you made with him? Yep, he doesn't give a fuck. <sighs> so go watch it. Go follow what? it on YouTube. Dr. Kenny Smiles. Hilarious. I can't stand this world. I know. You have to just be professional. I know. No. When nobody is. Nope. We're and not going to be. And How everybody's about that? thinking the same thing. Yep. That they want to eat ass or whatever. Right. We're not going to be professional. How about that? I can't believe I went to school to be a news anchor. <laughs> Can you imagine you as a news anchor? I'd be up there going fucking, uh, I'm so mad at myself. I said last podcast, I'm going to stop swearing. And I said fuck more than I ever have. I'm going to go to swearing school or something. You want to set up a little jar or something from now on when you say fuck on the pod? Because I'm not, not going to say it. What do I put in the jar? Just like go get a roll of quarters. Well, you don't swear as much as me. Really? I said, fucking this, fucking that, fuck this. <laughs> I can't stop. I feel like I say I it a lot. I hate it. You do? Mm-hmm. Why? Just fucking hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, I hate it, though. Aw. Well, do better. Yeah, I'm going to do better, but yeah. I don't know how. Yeah. It rolls. Yeah. All right, All let's right. get into the DMs. Or do oh, you have more to talk about? No, I'm good. I've got a DM. I, I will say this, okay? My DMs were not real popping this week. Usually, I, they're, usually they're just fucking popping. I really couldn't find one. I did find one, but it's not like you're not going to be like, "Oh, that's a great DM." But I'm going to read it for you anyway. Ready? Not prepared. This guy, uh, Jeff, says, "Was wondering if you want to come over to my garage and listen to some tapes and CDs." That's a great one. I, I thought it was cute. I was like, I actually would. Yes. I was saying the other day, like, I miss just hanging out and, like, singing. I could do that for yeah. hours and hours. Yeah. When I went to Costa Rica, I met these random two guys out at the bar, me and my friend. We went to their house and sang along wow. and with their guitar for, like, six hours till about 7 a.m. That sounds like a good time. Did you fuck one of them? I didn't. Really? Surprisingly. And it was the time of my life. Aww. There's nothing better than yeah. hanging out and and fucking jamming. Right. Jamming. All right. Okay. You got one? This human said, hey, love the pod. Have you ever heard of a guy not being able to come with <laughs> without standing up? I've encountered this recently, and he can't come unless he's standing. So when I'm sucking his dick laying down, then we have to move positions for him to come. Hmm. Before it was really <laughs> annoying, but now it's not so much. Thoughts? Huh. It's all about angles. <laughs> I don't have any thoughts, I guess. I don't guess that's that weird. Um, I've never encountered that. But I will say, if I'm masturbating, I have to be laying down on my back. I can't be standing up. I can't be on my side. I can't be on my stomach. I will not be able to nut unless I'm on my back. That's just with masturbating, though. Mm-hmm. Fucking, I can, yeah. Any position. Yeah. I feel like I have to be tight. My legs have to be tight. When you're fucking? To come. Mm. For me to actually nut, yeah. I have to be, like, I yeah. start, like, almost shaking. Yeah. Wow. Wow, but standing up, gosh. Imagine you're sucking a dick, and then he goes, oh, I got to stand up to come, yeah. and then he loses it, and then you have to suck his dick again. Oh. That would be annoying. Oh. Uh-uh. He better be holding on to that cum. Right. Double, double work. We're not double working. <laughs> wow. <laughs> This isn't the shift. Holy. All right. Okay. We're ready for yes. That's what I was ready for. Get trivy. Get trivy, y'all. Uh, get trivy. Get trivy, y'all. Oh, fuck me. Get yeah. trivy. Get trivy, y'all. Woo. Nice. nice. Mm. How about some uh, food trivia? Oh, nine, bitch. Get ready. Nine questions. Okay. Food trivia. We're ready. Here we go. Um, wh- question number one. Whipped cream. Right. Uh, <laughs> which was the first fast food restaurant to open an outlet in China? McDonald's. McDonald's. Wait. It's uh, Kiff's. KFC. Kiff's? What? <laughs> Sorry, well, bad joke. And also, let us, uh, we, we forgot to say final answer. Let's do that. Oh, okay. Let us say final answer before you give us an, an-, uh, an answer. Well, I'm shocked at that. I thought it was McDonald's. I thought so for sure. All right. Question number two. Okay. Which fruit resembles 60% of the human DNA? 
fuck, I know this. Why do I not anymore? Do I, I want to say banana, but no, hold on. Which fruit represents 60% of the human DNA? Is it an orange? Um, no. Which fruit? Rep- well, you know how they give, like, if you're in medical school, you practice giving shots to an orange. Oh, my That's God. the only reason that comes to my head. <sighs> Banana won't get out of my head. Um, Go with your gut. Oh. Banana, final answer. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Go with your, how did you know banana? Thanks, Tuss. That was a good one. Um. Yeah, so it's banana, I guess. All right. That potassium. Number three, which country has the lowest meat consumption in the world? Okay, let me think. Let me think. I know it's not America. <laughs> um, I don't think it's like Asia or China and all that. Which like country? They, yeah, I know that's... I know that's they, the, um, I'm thinking like fucking Italy or something like that. I don't know. They, don't they know. eat a lot of... Prosciutto, you know? What about, no. I'm thinking, can I have a hint? Is it a European country? No. Okay. God. Gosh, I feel like everyone eats meat. I know. I know. It's not I, I was a meal gonna, without meat. <laughs> I was going to say Africa, but then all like the, they hunt the wild, like the wild game and stuff. God, this one's hard. What's a tropical place? <sighs> Oh man, it's not Australia because they're they're really. Oh man, I don't know. I don't even have a gander. Canada, final answer. <laughs> India, oh, India. Fuck. Yeah, because they don't eat cows, right? They don't eat beef. I fucking knew that. If you notice any cardboard box that comes from India, it smells like straight doo doo. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Must be made out of it. Oh. Yeah, I heard a comedian say once when you get off the plane in India, it just, just kind of hits you. It's a smell. Really? You know? Yeah. Hmm. Kind of want to go there, though. Yeah, just to just see what it's about. Just to see what it smells like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Never Question heard. number four. All right. What is the most expensive spice in the world in terms of weight? That is, that would be, um, oh, fuck. You know this? Yes, Did because you? I know you know this. Because I use it all the time. Cal, sit back and wait. Um, and I know what it looks like. And, and uh, it's, uh, hold on. What is that? What is it? Come on. I know what it is because I use it all the time and I had you pick it up I for know. me. I <laughs> know. I just went and got it for you. What do you use it in? I use it in like pasta sauces or like uh, soups and stuff. Um, what is it? What does it start with? A C? What does it start with? An S. Saffron. Yes. Saffron, whoa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it is expensive compared to weight, but when you buy it, it's like it comes in a little like, it's like what, maybe 10, it's like $15 for a bottle. I think it was $22. Yeah. 20, okay, like 15, 20 bucks. And it, that, that, you use that once maybe. So it is expensive, but it's really good. Fucking pine It's like nuts. a little stick. Yeah, it's a little stick. A little stick yeah. that you just put in your soup? Well, I grind it up and then I'll put it in a, uh, I put it in a pasta sauce that I like to make. It's, oh, God, it's so good. A good so soup I need to make that. I know. I'm, I use, like, heavy cream and, and um, uh, scallion or not scallions, um, uh, what's it called? <laughs> the, the onion. <laughs> the tortellini shells? The onion. I, know, I love but how you go, what's it called? I know. Uh, I just make called? a really good pasta sauce out of it. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. I've been making some good pasta sauces lately. Really? With whipping cream and just like <gasps> yep. fresh garlic and oh. all this shit I just throw in there. And mm-hmm. it turns out really good. Kind of tastes like a cheesecake. Dude, all you got, people pasta. are so scared to make like fresh pasta sauces. It's Dude. easier and it tastes one million times better. You a will never go back. million times better. And you could make whatever. Throw in some butter, heavy cream, a little bit of uh, tomato s- sauce, uh, some Parmesan cheese. And that there, there you go. A little oh. bit of lemon juice. You're done bomb too it doesn't even have to be you know measured out just what just make it do you think it's healthier or whipping cream's pretty bad or oh no? it's pure fat oh shit <laughs> but who cares yeah who <laughs> all i'm saying cares? yolo <laughs> yolo you know love <laughs> that saying right question number five okay what was the first vegetable ever planted in space i want to say corn um 
creamed corn. Good find on these questions. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, how about let's just say mushroom. I'm gonna say corn. Final answer. Potato. <gasps> Potatoes. Potatoes. Question number six. Okay. Which is the food that is stolen the most? Mm. Can it be? Does that be a specific p- food? Because I'm thinking like canned foods. Yeah. You don't have to be specific. Um. Mm. Which food is stolen the most? I'm gonna say canned. Something canned. I'm gonna say just like something like fresh produce. What is it? Shit. I don't cheese. Know. Wow. People are stealing because cheese. Because it's so expensive. It yeah, is. True. Truffle. Yeah. Those charcuterie boards run for about 200 bucks a piece. If you buy that bomb cheese, two, 300 bucks. I know. Mm-hmm. I do a charcuterie board every year for Christmas, and every time I go, and it's not even a big one, it's just for us and the family, yeah. and I'll spend two or $300 on this yep. charcuterie board. But they're the easiest thing to make, so no. I just fucking yeah. just splurge. Yeah, splurge. Because I don't want to be in the kitchen on holidays trying to... Yeah. Cook. No, no. Question number seven. Mm-hmm. Wait, is it charcuterie or charcuterie? I don't know. I say char. And I say char. Char, charcuterie. Mm. I don't know what the proper, I don't know. Mm. All right. Question number seven. Um, although considered as nuts, these are actually seeds. What is it? Oh, God. Pumpkin seeds. No. Is it? Almonds, final answer. Wow. That was great. She's good. That was good. Thank you. How would you know an almond? Honestly, th- I, 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 okay, here's, here's <clears throat> how I got that answer. First off, process of elimination. I thought it's not going to be anything that is a seed or looks like a seed, like sunflower seed, um, poppy seed, anything like that. I go, it's going to be a nut. So I went through in my head. I go, okay, what's a nut that could be a seed? I go, Walnut, a walnut is not going to be a seed because it looks like a little brain. And then I went to almonds <coughs> and, I go, and I said, almond could look like, almonds look like just big seeds. Yeah. And so I just said almond. <laughs> and I got it right. Kind of reminded me of the, oh, sorry. That's a lot of thinking that for a short period of time. Too much oh, I, thinking. Oh, I thought all that right, right then. Do you ever watch the show The Chase? <laughs> no. Oh, you kind of remind me of how you explained your answer. Really? Maggie's just Jeopardy. staring at Chelsea what? like, why the fuck did you just think all of that? Yeah. Oh, my cow. <laughs> oh, wow. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's awesome. Question number eight. Mm-hmm. Which food never rots and doesn't require preservatives to keep fresh? Honey. Final yeah, answer. you already asked that like um, yeah. four or five podcasts ago. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> number nine. Um, which was the first food eaten in space? Hmm. Astronaut ice cream. I don't think. Um, oh. God, I have no clue. Uh, this is a guess here. I'm going to say something they could keep in. I'm going to say pot roast. Final answer. <laughs> <laughs> Applesauce. Oh. Imagine trying to eat in space. Oh. That would not be good. No, because mm. of gravity and stuff. You know, it'd be hard to eat. Ooh. Right. Ooh. Right. Imagine us score, in space. Dude, us in space would be full. Fucking awesome! I'd be taking shits, just like you'd be playing. Your clots would be just my clots would be all over in the air, just flying. God, okay, (laughs) all right, great. Is that all the trivia? Yeah, that's it. Great little trivia game. Great job. I had a I had a blast. Somebody wrote me today on Instagram and said you suck at trivia and you suck at the uh, you don't know any of the music and you don't know any of something. Do better. Love ya. (laughs) And I said, all right, you're right. Love you, too. All right, do better. I will. Mm. I will. Mm. Not this one, but next one. Not this one, but next podcast will do better. All right, Brett, we are ready, Poppy. Hey, honeys. Um, Got some funny stories for you. I'll just stick stick to one story uh, per call. Um, So today's story is I used to work at a bar, and I was walking home with some girlfriends. It was like 3 in the morning. And uh, this guy comes up to us, and we thought he was going to ask us for, like, money or a cigarette or something. And uh, <laughs> he actually wanted us to kick him in the balls. <laughs> um, so, obviously, he's one of those guys that gets off on, you know, pain and being kicked in the balls. So, we said yes, 
and we, um, you know, just took him to the side, the side of the building, and we all had a turn, um, just hoofing him right in the nuts. And yeah, it was super weird. Um, he didn't like, I don't think he came or anything, but he, it sounded like it hurt, but he also like was enjoying it. Um, yeah, it was trippy. How hard so, were they kicking him? That's my story. Um, Chelsea, wondering if you think you're ever gonna, um, maybe tour in Canada. Just, uh, wow. love to see you there. Okay, love you guys. Love you. Yeah, love you. First off, I'm sorry. That's fucking awesome. It's okay. Awesome. I would love for that to happen to me. So let me get this straight. They're walking along, probably at night after work, minding their own business. And some dude just comes up and says, Excuse me, ladies. Can you kick me in the balls? Yeah, let's go out back. <laughs> and they go, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they all go to the side of the building. It's the fact that they all agree <laughs> to know. it. And we would agree. We would one agree. One by one, kicked him in the nuts. That's fucking awesome. It, it better be on video. We need that video. That is, that, I want that to happen to me. Like, whether it was sexual for him or not, I don't give a fuck. That's funny that, number one, he had the balls to go up and ask him. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't have the balls. <laughs> no. And number two, that they were like, yeah, yeah. let's do it. And wow. then they're like, do they line up? And they're like, okay, who's going first? Like, how hard are we kicking? Well, That's the what thing. would you do? I would Does just... he talk? Okay, if it were me, I would honestly be like, okay. How hard do you want me to get you? Yeah. Like, to I, get you. Yeah, like, do you want me to fucking <laughs> kick as hard as I can? And did they, like, grab his shoulders and, and knee him? Or stand back and get their foot up there? I want to know exactly how the balls were hit. Yeah. And how many girls was it? You know, if it were two, would he have let them pass? If it was, you know, if, if it was five or six of them, was he like, wow, this is this is a good amount of kicks for me? Yeah. I have so many questions. <laughs> Did they do it multiple times? Right. He's like, let me see the kicks before you kick. <laughs> right. And what happened after? After they, were, after they all kicked, he's, was he all like... All right, have a good day. <laughs> was he like, all right, thanks, ladies. And they're like, hey, no problem. And then have they all started one. walking in the same direction. Dude. <laughs> she needs to call back and let us know. That's just so fucking funny to me. Why, though? Like, why the fuck would you I'm want not, kicked in the balls? I don't know. Some dudes are, we talked about this, you know, the pot, a couple podcasts ago, ball mutilation, that's a thing. But, but that's hit, that could possibly hit your shaft, too. Like, <sighs> does your shaft not hurt? Not Man. really. I, the balls would hurt, but, yeah, the sh- shaft doesn't really get it. Could you tuck your penis in your butt cheeks? You can. <laughs> yeah. What if he does that? But, but, but his ball sacks between his penis and his butthole so where's the ball sack going he's got to lift it he could tuck that up above yeah, his I waistline bet, i bet he tucked it up, tucks it up he's probably a pro at this he probably knows what he's doing yeah mm-hmm. he knows this that was that was not his first time asking he random chicks if it, yeah yeah, yeah. it that, was a setup that was not his first time wow dude hey if you're where calling or if you're listening and you've ever asked random women out in public to kick you in the nuts give us a call and let us know why you do that I want to find that one guy. I know. I'm hoping he's listening. I'm hoping he is listening right now and thinking, hey, I remember that night. That was the best night of my life. <laughs> wow, dude. God bless him. Crazy, dude. Thanks for calling in with that crazy story. Hi, honeys. Um, I'm on my very short lunch break, and I just discovered your podcast. It is so funny. I'm... um actually super excited that I'm not getting in trouble listening to you while I'm at work because I've been listening to you since six o'clock this morning and it's already 12 noon. So I wanted to ask you the best breakup advice. I recently ish just got out of a relationship with somebody and it was extremely hurtful, but I rebounded super quick with somebody that is way better and it's been amazing and he actually ate me out right before i uh went to work so Hell things yes. are going really well um i hope you guys um have an amazing day and i hope i get to be on the podcast oh yeah oh yeah well hey honeys here you are hey honeys made it on the podcast here hey honeys got your pussy ate before work at 6 a.m oh that's 
Oh, that's the best. That sounds so good right now. What? At 6 a.m. though? I could do it. Yeah. Especially if you're getting up anyway for work. Well, and I guess she's new too. And especially if you're just laying there and you're, you don't got to do nothing. Yeah. I could, I could lay there and get my pussy ate. Now, if he's wanting his dick sucked at 6 a.m., not happening. So, not happening. So she wants relationship advice, but oh. she already moved on. So. so she wants breakup advice. So it looks like or you're yeah, doing. breakup advice, but huh? she moved on. Honeys, looks like you're doing it. You're doing the damn thing. Unless she moved on too quick. I don't think so. I think every person, I think every person and every relationship is different. Mm -hmm. You know, you may break up with someone and have a totally different type of breakup and a different, you know, in a different way of handling it than you would with someone else. It just depends. I think, I don't think there is good breakup advice. I think every person needs to experience it on their own and feel what they feel on their own and deal how they deal with it on their own. I don't think there's any right way or wrong way. You just have to. You just have to feel it, I think. And nothing's the worst than when you're going through a breakup and you ask people for advice and then you get that advice and you don't take it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Because you always go with your heart in yeah. the end and your feelings and then you feel like, oh, shit, I just said this and got advice from this person yep. and they told me what to do and then I'm doing the opposite of what they said. Yep. And then you could, you know, fuck up things with everybody. So I agree. Trial and error and... uh Get your pussy ate at 6 a.m. <laughs> exactly. He okay. continues that. Keep him, keep him around. Keep the new one around. You're doing good. You're doing great, honey. <laughs> he's, he's doing great. He's doing great, honeys. <laughs> yes. Love you. Thanks for listening. For Hey, honeys. Just got off of work here. So I have a little story that I thought y'all would like to hear. So about 10 years ago, I had this fuck buddy. And I was really into him. And we were, like, fucking, like, almost every day. Yeah. So, anyway, one of the days he was over, he's like, I have to tell you something. And I'm like, okay, what? And he said, I really want you to pee on me. And I'm not into that. I'm not trying to yuck anyone's yum. Just not into it. But I was so into him, I was like, okay and he said so if i come over tomorrow will you pee on me when we fuck and i said absolutely so i'm preparing i'm drinking a shit ton of water the next day he shows up we're fucking getting it on i'm on top and then he says pee on me ladies i tried <laughs> to pee on this guy and I just, I could not do it. I could not, I could not do it. So after a while, we finish, no pee. And he seemed disappointed, but he still made me come and all that. Yeah. So I gave him a bag of chips as a sorry and thank you for his services. And he leaves. The minute he walks out the fucking door, I got to pee. Mm -hmm. I got to pee. I was so pissed. Mm. Anyways, that's my story. Love you, honeys. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love you, honeys. Love you me. got scared. That's just the way life works. <clears throat> In the moment, it's pressure. Well, also, she, did she say she was on top or did I just imagine that? Probably imagined it. Okay. She said she was Maybe on top. Maybe she was. Okay. She was on top. So if they're fucking and he's inside of her, that's going to be really hard for her to pee. If so anybody's no inside of you, it's going to be hard to pee. Yeah, so no wonder you couldn't pee, honey. I just would, I just would have maybe slipped off that dick and then just let him have it. If he wanted to pee, I would have gave him pee. I didn't know that. That's true. If you guys are on top, you can't pee with the dick. Well, inside some you. people can't. Not we're not all the same, but hmm. I don't know. I don't. I would assume. I would assume not because even when I have to pee and start having sex, my pee goes away. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm kind of happy she couldn't pee because she didn't want to do it in the beginning. Yeah. She just really liked the guy. And, like, don't do anything you don't want to do in True. the first place. Well, if you really, really don't want to do it, don't do it. But at the same time, I feel like if I, if I was really into a guy and he wanted to do something sexually that I thought was weird or didn't like or whatever, I would do it anyway to to please him. Not yeah. to be like, oh, to please a man. But I feel like that's part that's part of, like... Being t 
together and being like, it's like exploring and <clears throat> out, you know, if a dude was like, Oh, I want you to do this. And I would never thought about that before. I'd be like, mm-hmm. okay, let's do it. And well, you would expect the same yes. in return. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I was a little yeah. upset until she said he made me come, and then I was like, "Oh, okay." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's all right then. Yeah, he's cool. He's co- he's a cool dude. He's cool. But I, have we? I mean, I've never done anything like that sexually. Like pissing, Pee, poop. There's a lot of people into that. I haven't done that yet. No. Brett tried to pee on me in the shower and couldn't. And yeah. I'm like, dude, don't pee on me. Yeah. Either way. Yeah, I couldn't do it. I tried to. Once. Really? Yeah. But you're in the shower, so. But I, I didn't know. want pissed on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you's right. Yeah. Maybe we should just have you kneel down in the shower and just take huh? it on the face. Let's have huh? you try that, and I'll piss <laughs> on your face. Yeah, why don't you just lay down and she'll squat over you and piss. Yeah, I'll, let's just try that right now. I'll vlog it. <laughs> Gosh. Gosh. Yeah, piss isn't my thing. It, it would not turn me on, but... We have that one follower who always writes us and says, do you guys have to pee? Oh, I know. Every Q&A we do. Every Q&A. Do you have to pee? Every Q- For years. I, I think d- I got one of those and I was like, huh? For, <laughs> ye- for years. I didn't know what it was. For years, this motherfucker will <laughs> say, do you have to pee? Have you peed today? Have you peed yet? Oh Are you my. peeing? Every Q&A I do on Instagram for years. I know he's about to pop up. Ask yeah. Have to pee. He'll be here. Oh, dang. He's there every fucking day. Every day. He's everywhere. Mm-hmm. Every day. Do you have to pee? Uh-huh. <laughs> Who would write somebody <laughs> that and say, do you have to pee? Every day for years. Oh, I bet he gets pissed Not off. even once. Oh, every day for off. years. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But also, I'm imagining if she did pee on him, is that that pee just going to get all over the bed? Yeah. Maybe that's why they make those bed liners. So no, I mean, I wouldn't do it in the bed, but I where where like, do you do gotta, that? I know where would you do that? The bath. I don't know. I I did it one time, and we did it in the in the kitchen floor. What you and pissed then, on somebody? Yeah, when you're done, you can just mop it up. <laughs> hold on, hold on. You pissed on somebody, Maggie? Yeah. Hold on, Maggie. She told me the sex story. I'm not gonna say it. Okay, don't say it. I know, but. <laughs> Okay, but let's tell the. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? I, I'm open to Maggie. Just tell about the story. Anything. I know, except yeah, yeah, yeah. I am pretty. I'll tell y'all after. I don't want to tell it just in case. I know. You know? Yeah. I don't want to. I mean, if he's listening, I don't. Yeah. To don't be know. continued. Yeah. To be continued. But tell us about the pee. Um. Talk more into the. Okay. Uh. Was there a penis inside you when you pissed? No. Good so question. I, so, Good question. Mm-hmm. Okay. God, I don't know. Um, okay, wait. So was he? Was he like? Was this some random, or was it someone you were dating, or was it someone like? Well, like first off, I'd like to know that. Random? God, no, it wasn't random. Okay, so was he like? Can we have sex? And can you pee on me? Did he just straight up ask that before? Beforehand, or did that happen yeah. while? No, so he, having sex? he asked me. He asked me to pee on him, and I was like, sure, but you know, I don't want to get it in the bed. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. he went, and uh, we had like tile floors in the uh-huh. kitchen so he laid on the kitchen uh floor okay and then i like stood over him and pissed and were was, you like, laughing on his face no i was i see, oh here's the thing hold on i'm not <laughs> i would fucking be laughing dude. hold on so y'all weren't having sex or anything no he just but, okay I mean, we were like we were fucking and then we went and did okay the piss on the thing, floor so he laid down him. on the floor and you just hovered over him and just peed all over him and in his face and stuff yeah and he was like he had my pee in his mouth he loved it. And he drank it? Yeah. <gasps> what about loved his eyes? It. He's a piss lover. It, it was it was in his eyes. It was burning oh. a little bit. I had to get him a towel. I had to get him a towel. <laughs> See, it didn't gross me out. It didn't turn me on. I was just like, I was just pissing. You are just drinking some coffee. <laughs> I was just pissing, you know. Yeah. Did, I didn't care. Was he jacking off as you were doing it? Uh-uh. It was, you weren't pissing on your face. Why would you care? Did just, he come after? Uh-huh. So did he clean it up? Hold on. Hold on. We got too many questions going on at once. <laughs> hold on. Did he, did y'all continue having sex after? Yeah, we did. Did he clean up the pee before y'all did that? Uh, no, we cleaned it up after. So where'd so y'all he fit? had your piss all over in his eyes, mouth, and head, and then you guys went, where'd you go after that? God, it's been so long ago. Probably the shower. We probably uh, finished in the floor, you know. So, yeah. So that Wait. was only the one time? Um, I did like me a handful of times. 
Same guy. And then he would pee. He wanted to pee on me, so I let him pee on me, but not on my face. Like he would just piss on me. So I was like, okay, you can pee on me. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking wild, dude. I I could say I would probably do that shit though because. It doesn't I mean, it's, bother. It's, like, it's clean up and then, like in the moment, dude, things go. Yeah. Things Wait, go. What? Things go. It, yeah, if you pee accidentally, but not if it's like, let me lay down and open my fucking mouth and you have you use pee in my mouth. I would do shit like that. Just, dude, no, I lick listen, your butthole. No, listen. I mean, I would do that for fun, but I wouldn't do that being like, oh, yeah. Like, fucking jacking him <laughs> off while pissing in his mouth. Like, I couldn't do that. I could do that just like, you know, if he enjoyed it, just play the role after Whoa. that after i after the fact though i'd be like Ugh. yeah i just don't want Fuck. piss in my mouth or on my face yeah no thank you, know? you. dude that's that's wild that's yeah. oh i would do it in the shower too i don't have time to be mopping up all that piss oh man it wasn't funny. that bad i wasn't grossed out by it it wasn't bad i wonder what piss tastes like <laughs> I don't know. I can almost imagine how it tastes, though. It depends on, I think, what you eat and drink. For sure. Coffee. Because sometimes I'll piss and it smells like straight coffee. Mm -hmm. Or asparagus. <laughs> yeah. Or popcorn. <laughs> My pee's been smelling like popcorn. Have you been eating Mine a does lot? Too. Not a lot, but I'll eat popcorn. Hmm. So it's like. Uh, yeah. Mine does, too, sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was the color of your pee when you pissed on them? Yellow or white? Um, that's a good question, Brett. Mm -hmm. I, I think Great. it was yellow. I think it was yellow piss. The fact that he was loving it. Loved it. A lot of people do. Blows loved my it. mind. That blows my mind. He's the same one. Remember me telling you he wanted me to take a shit on his chest <gasps> and I wouldn't do it? Yeah. I said that's where that's I draw him. the fucking line. That's him. Dude. Yeah. I, I would like take a, a shit on somebody's head. <laughs> no, man. I don't want to smell that. Well, I don't want... I would take the shit and leave. Yeah. I would but, say, but, you, are you going to clean it up? You could even save the shit and put it in the freezer for a cold want, carl. They want a shit, and then they want to continue to fuck with the shit on them. Uh-uh. That's what they want. No. I'll shit in a Ziploc bag, and they can hold it. Right. Well, <laughs> the warmth coming from that bag. <laughs> but it better be zipped up. Yeah. So I don't want to smell. Yeah. <laughs> That's wild to me, and I usually I oh. I'm usually not like judgy judgy, especially on sex stuff. But that's wild to me, the piss and shit stuff. Yeah, that's hard for me to wrap my head around. It's hard for me to wrap my head around what it is, yeah. like what triggers yeah. them to be like what? excited about that. Right, we're all wired different. Yes, it doesn't do anything for me, but right, Gosh. wild. Yeah, it trips me out too. Just like. How people can say, oh, I can't believe you post that on social media. And I'm like, dude, guys literally jack off to our feet. Do Are, are we not supposed to show anything? Everybody has a fe right. fetish for something. Right. 100%. <laughs> Do we just completely hide? God. That's wild, Maggie. I never knew that about you. Yeah, I don't think I ever told. I mean, I told you a lot. Yeah. About but, all that, but no, I don't. You I never don't told me that? Yeah, I don't think I told you that. I love that we kind of all spill our secrets I here know. on the podcast. Like. She's yeah. never told you that, but she just told every single uh, person who like, listened. If you would have asked me, I would have told you. Yeah. It yeah. just never got brought up. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's funny. I can't believe you never told Chelsea, like, hey, I got to get a load of this. I, got, I pissed on a guy. I know. You know? Like, we're just sitting here talking <laughs> about p pissers, and Maggie's pissing on people's heads. I mean, it, it, ha it literally happened, like. A long time ago. Over 10 years ago. Yeah. So. It, I feel like we weren't hey. that comfortable with each other enough to say something like that. Do I know who he is? Yeah. <laughs> Would you do, do it now? Do you not know? Mouth who it is. That's what I figured, yeah. but God. Would you do it now? Not with him, obviously, but... Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Oh I probably would. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> we need that Did, sound. We, did <laughs> we tell anybody why we say maybe? I don't know. Hey, can, when, you're, when you're editing this, can you pop that up? Oh, yeah. How do you fuck me? <gasps> Brent, you got us a sound bite. Yeah. Let's play it again. Oh, yeah. <gasps> hold on. I hold just on. thought my dad was here. <laughs> hold on. Okay, hold on. First off, we have been telling Brett to make us sound bites since the first episode launched months ago. Uh -huh. And this motherfucker has not done it. 
Oh, I was screaming at him this morning. <laughs> yeah, okay. sorry about that. Let's listen to all the sound bites you got. Yeah, I only got two right okay. now. Those. You here, said those are right. the two you all wanted. Right. Here, but... we, here we go. How do you suck dick? <gasps> From the very first episode, y'all remember her? How do you, How do you suck, suck dick? dick? We love. That. And then the second one? Oh, yeah. That's my dad going, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I need I need those over here. Uh huh. We're gonna we're gonna get those to Maggie, and she's gonna be able to to we're play. We're gonna have to get a bigger. We will soundboard, and we want the maybe chick. Yes, I need that one. And if you guys wonder why we all say maybe, maybe. it's because we did a prank where we went into Walmart and said, "Hey, did you just fart?" Or did yeah. you just fart to everyone? And this elderly lady looked Chelsea in the face and said, "Maybe." <laughs> It's and up on our Instagrams, but it was what was what? Oh, she worked there too. Yeah, it two, was the Walmart. Empl- you stirred so much drama. I know. Because Chelsea I started was, some shit that day. Chelsea in Walmart. was dressed up as Trailer Trash Tammy, and I could hear you from four <laughs> aisles down. And people were we were doing the prank together, but people were coming up to me saying, "That chick, she's asking people if they farted," and she, <laughs> <laughs> they were coming up to me and saying, she's "I think crazy. she's on something." Yeah. and I was like, "Yeah." I, th- I think so, too. And we passed by this older lady who was stalking something, and I walked by, and I go, whew, did you fart? And she says there, she goes, maybe. maybe. And then, dude, it took everything I had not to die. And so now, for years, we go, maybe. <laughs> We're grown-ass <laughs> units doing oh this. Oh, my God, dude. I saw the guy who I went up to and said, did you just fart? I saw him in Walmart the other day. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. The one where he went, I have been smelling weird things lately. Or mysteri- You saw him? Mm-hmm. He was in the same spot, stuck in the shelf. We got to post that video to our podcast Instagram. Yeah. Because people are going right. to, it's going to be hard for people to find because it's so far back. And people are going to be like, I need to know what you're talking about. Make a note. We got to, we got to post that. Okay. Maybe. Brett, can you m- note that for us? Yes. Okay. Love. Yeah. Noted. Hey, honeys. Take three slash PS to my second voicemail here. Uh, just wondering, can I get a discount code on y'all's uh, OnlyFans? What's good? Uh, I'm not sure if I'll like it because, like I said, gay and not horny for that shit. But would love to see what sort of funny stuff y'all got on there. Uh, just had to ask, asking for a friend. Love you. Uh, love Bye. you. Love, love you. you. So OnlyFans is so weird how they, they don't, like, I could never give you guys, like, a discount code. I could never be like, oh, use code viral to get X amount off a month or whatever. Mm-hmm. They don't have it set up to where you can do that. The only way you're able to give discounts is you can go on and put, like, okay, the next five people to 100 people can get a discount on the first month. It could be 5% off. 50, I think it goes up to 60% off a month. It does. That's the, that's the max they'll give you. And so the first 100 people, I usually set it to a hundred people mm-hmm. and I'll go on Instagram and say, Hey, next hundred people. And then they'll, they don't have codes. I need, we need it. They need to figure that out. How they do don't even people? have an app. So no. it's very hard to run. Yeah. <laughs> um, what Brett? I think you guys should raise the price. No, <laughs> no, because I need to post more on there. I I've feel like my slacking. price is good. I, f- I think I have it set to what, like sixteen bucks or something. I'm gonna 13. start going hard on there, actually. Um, yeah. Start. So don't worry. He said. He said I'm a gay guy. I don't care to be to see what's on your OnlyFans. We don't post porn or anything, you guys. Um, it's really all comedy. I do the Tammy Bangs uh, show, which I'm gonna be. We start filming again in a few weeks. We do vlogs. We do um, vlogs that could never be on. YouTube. No. Um, I show my butthole mm-hmm. sometimes. Um, we show tits. Yeah. A um, right or left titty. So I bought a big then. scale, mm-hmm. a big weight scale for like food for the kitchen. And I want us to each weigh our titties mm. and vlog it. Like, like Okay, I want to do that yeah, too. Yeah. yeah. Like when Libby's here, I want me, you, Maggie, Beth, Libby to just weigh our tits. Mine's That'll be gonna fun. going to be like less than an ounce. It's going to be a half ounce titty. Oh, yours. Yeah, they're gonna be. I bet they're five, six last, pounds. Last time I weighed my tits was in what was when I worked at Whole Foods, and I took one of the scales and took it back to the freezer and weighed my tits, and they were three pounds a piece. You took the Whole Foods scale and yeah. went. And yeah. <laughs> did you wash it off or just? I, is it for the meat? I don't even know what it was for. 
But um, that was, gosh, nine years ago. I've gained like 70 pounds since then. So I'm sure they weigh a lot. I can't wait. Yeah. Fuck. Let's weigh our butts, too. And can you just like throw a cheek on there? We can weigh anything we want to weigh. All right. I bought one of the nice scales. So, um, so to answer your question, we, we don't have like a discount code to give out for our OnlyFans, which I hate, but on occasion, maybe like once or twice a month, Mm -hmm. I'll post on my Instagram stories. Hey guys, next hundred people or for the next 24 hours, I'm cutting it half price or something. So be on the lookout for that. Yeah. Watch all the stories because you don't Mm want to miss out. Don't miss our stories. You can go to ChelseaLynn.com to sign up for my OnlyFans. You can go to... My Instagram page, Jen. I think I have it linked in my bio. Yeah. Hopefully I don't get deleted. Yeah. Well, <sighs> gotta be careful on that. Yeah, it's OnlyFans.com slash page Jen. I just don't understand. How can OnlyFans have an account that's verified? I and don't know. be on there, but then the <laughs> creators who are on OnlyFans right. can't promote it on Instagram. It's just like, what's going on? Um... But we are, um, what was I about to say? Only Tammy, probably we are going to start um, recording Only Tammies. We're doing that. No, I was going to say something else. Oh, man, it was a good point, too, and it just, hate that shit. Uh, podcasts for Only <gasps> Yes! We're going to be, as soon as we get a little more time, we are going to be, not on a regular, regular basis, but we are going to be filming and posting exclusive podcasts for OnlyFans. What do you think we're going to do? Like, like extra or bonus episodes for OnlyFans, if that makes sense. Thinking like a topless episode, that'd be nice. Topless would be funny. Yeah. Pasties or something. Like funny pasties or... <gasps> I have one. Just something. Let's be topless and let's have the nipple clamps across the table clamping our nipples together the whole time. Oh, my God. Okay. That could be fun. Okay. I'll do it. (laughs) Yeah. That's a good idea. My nipples will probably have some white things come out. I've been been getting tweezers on my nipples and pulling out little white. Those are natural, babe. Don't don't yank those. Oh. Oh, wow. It's not cream and milk. It's like solid. It, yeah, they're just little white bumps, probably, right? I don't, yeah, I've never those seen little them, white bumps. Sometimes about. I can, I've been putting tweezers on them and kind of pulling them out. It's satisfying, but I need to stop. I go cross eyed right? looking I've at my never nipples. Heard of that. Oh really? God. Try it. Wow. Girl, I don't have white things. So. Well, you have to squeeze your nipples yeah. really hard. And if the, your nipples are hard, then they might have like a little bit. What? Wow. Crazy. I'll see. Yeah. That shit's crazy. All right. <laughs> hey, Chelsea. Hey, Paige. Um, so I was just wondering, I know on the last podcast with your dad, Paige, that y'all had asked him what, or somebody asked him what they would say to, like, their young his younger self. So I was just wondering, what would you say to younger Chelsea, and what would you say to younger Paige? Um, love you, honeys. Aww. Bye. That's a great question. Love you. That is a great question. What would we tell our younger selves or what advice or what would we say? I would say just do not take life too serious because nothing matters. Mm -hmm. I used to stress about the dumbest shit, especially in like high school, like Mm -hmm. grades and everything. But yeah, honestly, it doesn't matter. Nothing. (laughs) I would tell myself, um, Oh man, I'm not good at this type of stuff. I would, I, I wouldn't give myself really any advice because I feel like you, you know, all of the shit I've been through and all of the mistakes I've made and everything have worked out and made me who I am. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, I wouldn't really change anything. I would just really tell myself, number one, it goes by way faster than people tell you. It, believe them when they say it goes by fast. My entire life, my older sisters have always said like. Live your life now, because now. by the time you look Today. back, you're going to be 35 years old, yeah. 40, and be like, I just, my 20s are yeah. gone. <laughs> yeah. So you have to just seriously live now. Live Don't now. wait it, for anything else. I, I would say it goes by so fast. I would have, try to have much fun as you, whatever fun is to you. And um, I would honestly, I would say, man, you're, you know. Your, your life's not even really going to start till you're 30. Mm-hmm. For I, me personally. I kind of do wish I was, like, stronger. 
when I was younger, you know, like you have your own opinion and you can, you have your own voice and you can be who you want rather than just like, I don't know. I feel like I would get taken advantage of a lot Aww. because I would never say no. Mm-hmm. Like it's okay to say no. Yeah. You don't have to fucking go to a work party if you don't want to. You Agreed. don't have to do anything you don't want to and you don't have to feel guilty for it. You know what? Um, the ch- uh, Samantha from Sex in the City came out with a really good um, quote. Like a like she did an interview where she came out and she said, um, "What's her name? Kim Cattrall." Um, y'all know who I'm talking about? Yes, Kim Cattrall. Um, she came out and I saw this on Instagram. <clears throat> Maybe this is it. Oh, here we go. She came out with this. Uh, yeah, it says. Um, uh, Kim Cattrall. I don't want to be in a situation. For even an hour where I'm not enjoying myself. And I thought, I wow. Like that. Yeah. Where you're not enjoying yourself. Mm-hmm. Where you're not enjoying, you know, where you. That talks numbers. That's deep. Yep. Where you're not enjoying yourself even for an hour. And it's so true, though. As long as you're telling people, like, no to a plan at a reasonable time, then it's totally acceptable to do what you want to do. If you don't want to go somewhere, mm-hmm. somewhere you're not going to enjoy yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I would just say, have fun. Keep doing what you're doing. Get ready for life to start in your 30s. It goes by fast. Um, don't waste time doing something that you're not happy with. Love it. Love ya. Hey, honeys. Um, so I was just wondering if you guys have ever had sex with virgins. Mm. I have had sex with three virgins. Not great experiences, um, but doesn't hurt to try. Didn't know if you guys preferred more experienced people, um, but just thought, thought that I would ask if you guys have ever had sex with uh, virgins. They still had their V card, and you just you just snatched that away from them. Let us know. Thanks. Love you guys. Love, Love you. you. I've never had sex with a virgin. I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. I've never asked. Are you right. a virgin? Right. I just assume everybody's not. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Maggie, I know you have, bitch. I have. Okay, I knew <laughs> I knew it was coming. How do you know? Was he your first boyfriend? No. Um. Oh, my gosh. It, it was in high school. Like, I knew he was, you know, a little virgin. I don't know. Do I know who he was? I think so. Okay. We fucked in the back of his car. Were oh. you a virgin? No, he had a big ass white crown Vic. Wow. <laughs> and we were back there just thumping. Fucking. Wow. Yeah. Just blowing the seats out. What I think it? I think he's the only one. What position were y'all in? Uh I was on top. Was he, he was good? No, he just sat there. I did everything. Uh I, where were y'all parked? We were like in a field at a party or something. So it was nighttime? Yeah. Those are the best. I know. <laughs> Wood parties. Yeah. Yeah, we were like out in a mm-hmm. in somebody's pasture. There That's was like a such fire. a small town. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Did he come in like three seconds? I feel like he no. has, it was like thirty minutes. Was oh. it on a bale of hay? It was like thirty minutes. Whoa. For a virgin? Damn. Getting road? Damn. All right. All right. <laughs> Might have to fuck a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. No, uh, I don't I, like long sex. You know what, though? I wouldn't be opposed to it. I know because she's like, oh, it wasn't good. But I, it's almost like I would want to almost for it to be like, and I'm going to sound really, I don't know how I'm going to sound saying this. but Slutty. Almost like a control thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, your dominance. Like, you like that dominance stuff. I like both. I like both, but if I was to fuck a virgin, it's almost gonna be like, okay, buddy. Let me show you. It's like their it. first day of school. <laughs> Let mama show you. Yeah. yeah, type of thing. They're yeah. in training, which makes kind, which makes it kind of hot for me to think about. And that's what I did, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay. I showed him <clears throat> what was yeah. up. Start yeah. out by eating my pussy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Start out. <laughs> step step one. Oh, oh, good times. We love virgins around here. We love a good yeah. virgin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We do. Hey, honeys. Unicorn here. I'm so happy that you guys are talking about threesomes this week because I have a little bit of experience with them. Um, so if you don't know what a unicorn is, it's 
the third person who's added to the mix. Um, so, yeah, I have a little bit of advice and a question for you guys. So um, I met a couple on Tinder, a guy and a girl, a few years ago, and we've now had just a couple threesomes together. Um, but if I have any advice for someone who is thinking about having one, definitely meet with the person beforehand. Go for dinner and drinks. Talk about your boundaries, what you like, what you don't like. It may be a little bit of an awkward conversation, but it's so worth it in the long run. It makes it so much more fun when you actually go to have the threesome because you already know what everyone wants. And you should always do it in a hotel. It's a neutral location, and it just makes it way more fun because you're, like, balling out. So, yeah. But I've actually become really close with this couple. We've become really good friends. And I'm actually invited to their wedding. So my question for you guys is how the fuck do I act at this wedding? Mm. What do I say when grandma asks me how I know this couple? Yeah, looking forward to hearing your thoughts. And I love you guys so much. Such a big fan. Bye, honey. Bye, honeys. Thank you for calling you. in. First off, loved your advice. Great advice. Great advice for everyone listening. Did you hear her? Solid advice. Mm-hmm. Speak it out before you fuck it out. Yep. Meet with them before. Hash out the rules, what you want, what you don't want. I love the neutral location. All that was great. Mm-hmm. All that was great. She sounds like a pro threesomer. She does. A pro unicorn. Right. A pro unicorner. Right. You do have to have those awkward conversations mm-hmm. because better before yeah. than after you don't want you huh. don't want to start kissing some the guy and the the wife's getting fucking mad because you're you know what i mean like oh so he can you know lick my clit but he can't kiss yeah. me you know you got to hash that shit out you don't want to enter the wrong down the wrong hole right 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 <laughs> um as far as the wedding goes grandma's not going to come up and be like so you fucking my <laughs> right. my grandson and my granddaughter <laughs> <laughs> and well right she's not even going to know just so you met at a Quinceanera or something. Just say you used to work together. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't feel awkward about that. Yeah. Honestly. Me either. I, I wouldn't. Mm-hmm. You're you're their friend. You're there as a friend. Nobody needs to know y'all be scissoring and fingering each other. Nobody. Has that nothing ain't to do. nobody's business. Mm-hmm. Okay? So if Granny comes up, oh, hey, we used to work together. We used to work at Whole Foods together. Right. That's all you got to say. <laughs> Oh, really? What yeah. department? Yeah. Or we went to high school together. Nobody's going to nobody's gonna question anything. Fuck. Imagine, though, she starts saying, we went to I high know. school. The grandma starts talking <laughs> about the high school. And, oh, boy. Just say you met through friends. Mm-hmm. Easy. Yeah. Yep. We met through friends. Easy. You mm-hmm. always got to say that. I know. If you don't fucking want to say, just through friends. We met through friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, the most bland right. answer. But right. <laughs> Right. Oh, my God. That's funny. Good times. Okay, so, hello, ladies. Hello. So, I'm watching episode 16, and I, on YouTube, and I'm sitting on the toilet taking a shit, and I got so distracted by watching you guys that I forgot I took a shit, and I went to wipe, and I wiped front instead of back, Ooh. and I wiped all my shit up into my pussy. Ah. So now I have to hop in the shower, but I'm going to wait until I'm done watching the podcast before I hop in the shower because y'all are worth it. Love you, honey. <gasps> oh, honey, that's dedication. I He's committed. Yeah, I don't know if we're worth a yeast infection. I don't know if we're worth uh, that's poop in the puss. Worse than a yeast infection. I don't, what can you get worse? Poop in the puss. Just, I don't like know. Like a green pussy. Ooh. You could get a, green, a uh, blue waffle. A creamy green infection. Don't ever yeah. say. A creamy <laughs> green infection. Don't ever say creamy green infection again. <laughs> yeah, isn't that just gonorrhea? Oh, maybe. God. Maybe. That's, maybe. What, maybe. That's maybe. what you need. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Wait, so what's the difference between a blue waffle and gonorrhea? I don't know what's caused a blue waffle. Let me look that up. What caused? If you a don't blue know waffle? what a blue waffle is, look Tell it them. up. Oh, it's bad. Well, is it growth? It's like uh, mold. Um, <laughs> it's just like a infected vagina. What causes a blue waffle? Blue waffle disease. Is it real? Blue waffle disease is a fictional sexually transmitted disease. 
fiction. Is slang waffle is a slang slang term for blue? Well, go to Google Images. It doesn't look like I it's know. fictional. I know. What is that? No. According to online sources, blue waffle disease is a condition that can disfigure a person's vulva and vaginal area and turn it blue. While there are many real and life-changing STDs, none of them turn the vulva blue. Besides the blue waffle. Right. Huh. Huh. It's, it is unclear whether people have photoshopped these pictures, but regardless of this, they do not represent the sy- symptoms of any existing diseases. There are no known STDs that cause the genitals to turn blue. I never knew that. I thought blue waffle was real. I did too. I gotta look more into this. Huh. I asked the guy at Cold Stone if they had a... Stop. <laughs> <laughs> There. And yeah. he goes, no, we don't. That sounds so good, though. We, <laughs> we should get some. I was just oh, like, oh, my boy. God. <clears throat> oh, my God. Okay. The supposed cause of blue waffle disease range. I love that you're still. <laughs> I'm into this. Range from poor hygiene to having frequent sex to having multiple STDs. Eh, this is not true. Poor hygiene or having frequent sex does not cause genitals to change color. Damn it, I want a blue waffle to be real. Uh, Google images say different. I mean, once you look at it. I know. It, it's definitely real, but. I know. Maybe that's just not the right term. Right, it has to be you know, something. Something yeah. that you can't really. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Why do I do this? To my... <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't ever want to see it. I, I don't see ever want to see it. I want to see it. <sighs> Is it like an avatar? Well, it's just it's just everything. Ooh, wow, 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 wow. Ooh. It's just, I don't know what that is. I can't handle the cream. Uh, it's, it's not, not cre- cream. It's not creamy. It's not creamy. It's just like growth on there. Mm, nope. It almost kind of looks like... Uh, so what I did was I Googled, I Google imaged v- vagina blue waffle and just look at that and you'll see what we're seeing right now. <laughs> Oh yeah. my It's going to be like the number one uh, I know. Google search. search. <laughs> They're like, we've been getting a lot of blue waffles. That's searches. bad, man. That's bad. <laughs> oh, man. Let that me... would hurt so bad. Oh, God. Okay, let me delete that. Let me clear my, clear my history. Let me clear my <laughs> I mind. I don't want that on there. Before the next question. Oh, wow. Yes, next question. We are ready. Hey, honeys. Megan here. Um, I love you both, but this may be a little bit more for Paige. Um, I know Paige is like the clock queen. Um, so I had like a really big, disgusting clot just like fall out in the shower this morning. Um, you know, had to clean the drain out, whatever. Um, but on the topic of clots, I don't know if this happens to y'all, but I cannot eat any kind of like cereal or anything with dried strawberries in it Uh because once the strawberry hits the milk and gets like soggy oh yep to me it's just it's like eating a big juicy blood clot yep i know that's really disgusting but i know that y'all would uh maybe understand hopefully yep love you honeys love you honeys i understand because those strawberry acais at starbucks are pretty clotty listen first off i love I had a DM from a dude a couple weeks ago, and he said, "Hey Chelsea, love the podcast, but I want to let you know hearing hearing you girls talk about playing with your blood clots in the shower really had your boy shook." <laughs> <laughs> and I, I responded, I said, "Well, that was Paige, not me. I don't play with my clots." Um, yeah, when I worked at Sonic, like we would get like the, like the strawberries to put like in our strawberry limeades or our strawberry shakes. Mm-hmm. It would come in a big white bucket and it would come frozen and we'd lay it out to thaw and when it thawed you just had to take a scoop and it was like it, I, I, all the time I would tell Greg I'm like this is what this is what my period looks like <laughs> and it's so true because me and Greg worked at Sonic together and I, I'd be and wasn't a, that before y'all got married yeah we were just dating yeah and I would literally take scoops out and like Greg this is what my period looks like he gets so mad at what me what would he do just stop he goes stop and then if I go to uh, if I go to Starbucks and I get a, a pink drink, I'll ask for no strawberries in it because yeah. I can't. That really does gross you out. Yes, I, I I'm thinking of blood clots. I play through it, but every bite I'm like, dude, this is a clot. <laughs> <laughs> what about sun dried tomatoes? Those don't bother me. Mm. It's strawberries. It's the strawberries. Yeah, because they're all slimy. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Claudia, and you don't run across sun dried tomatoes like you do strawberries. 
Sun-dried tomatoes are rare. Yeah, you eat that in pasta and you don't drink it. Right, right, right. Wow. So you are not alone, honeys. I agree with you. I cannot have strawberries in anything like that because I'm thinking of Claudia. I don't love sh- I don't love fruit on things really. Really? You just like it plain. Well, I'm just not like jelly and marmalade. Oh. I don't get how people love that stuff. Oh. Like you don't like toast with a little bit of butter and jelly? No. Really? I'd rather just eat butter or just like cinnamon sugar and butter. Oh, that sounds so good. But I don't ever do like the jams, the jellies, and then I never get like cream filled oh. donuts with the jelly. Yeah. Mm-mm. Oh, you like that? You yeah. gotta get the pudding. Yeah, in the oh. middle, like an eclairs bomb. Yeah. Oh, I'm so hungry right now. I want a donut. Let's. I'm yeah. gonna go to the donut shop. Yum. Did oh, you guys yeah. ever eat ramen noodles, uh, uncooked with like the seasoning packet on top? Huh? Uh, uh-uh, we cooked them. You just ate it hard. <laughs> we Wait, you you ate it hard? Yes. Why? I'd be late to school. Just Hot chips. Just holding the pack, the entire square of ramen, and then I just poured the seasoning all over the top. That was my breakfast all throughout what? elementary. No! If I was running late, which was almost every day. <sighs> you never ate that? No, I'm not going to eat hard noodles. I've crunched them up and, like, put it on a salad before. Like I've, as heard, a, I've heard that. People do that. That's it. Wow. Ramen noodles sound so good. I'm so hungry. What I are we am, eating after this? I am this? too. I want... Cheesecake. <laughs> Cheesecake factory. <laughs> I can't. I don't have time to go somewhere, but I want something. I want to go get donuts. Cream Let's go get donuts. Dead maybe. ass. I want donuts. Let's go get donuts. Is the donut shop open this late? Yeah. Where's donuts around here? Where is it? Yum yum. Right by the Arco um, and the Jack in the Box and all that. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Let's go get donuts. I want donuts <sighs> and a big glass of milk. Okay. Ooh. That does sound good. What milk right? too. No. Two more questions. <gasps> so okay. I remembered. Okay, we yeah. got two more questions left, you guys. Let's hit hit me with it, Daddy. Hit me with your best shot. Hey, honeys, Eric here. I absolutely love you guys. <clears throat> so, I'm 41 and I'm a pansexual, but I have totally lost all desire to be with anyone sexually. It's been about three years since I've had sex with someone. It's been about four years since I've had a partner. I do want to have someone to love and to be with and to live my life with, but I don't want to have to have sex. I masturbate plenty, but that's it. Is there something wrong with me, you think? I mean, I've never heard of anybody just, losing their desire to have sex completely. So help me out here. Love you guys. We, Bye. We love you. I love think this you. is a great question. I think this is, was definitely a vulnerable question, so thank you for calling in. How old was he? 41. 41. Okay. So I don't think you're alone, dude. I you're think, not alone because I know um, just on the top of my head people yes. who don't. Like you're not alone this is not something that you should be like worried about like oh my god like is there something wrong with me is there something this or something that um yeah you should have a part you should want to ha- still have a partner and and have and have that here's my thing you say you have no desire to have sex with someone which i believe you but you're still masturbating so you still have the sexual part of you that needs to be taken care of or to, you know you, milked. S- you need to be milked is what we're saying um <clears throat> here's my thing uh your hormones may be out of fucking whack that's bro. what i was thinking um your testosterone levels are probably so low that your hormones are just telling your body your body's like no we're good we're good but if his <clears throat> testosterone was that low wouldn't he not even have the desire to jack off? I don't think. I, I still think. I, I still think. We need to find out how much he jerks off. First. Yeah. yeah. He said That's all the it. time. Um, <clears throat> also, and I'm going to talk about Libby because she's openly talked about this and we've, we've talked about it before, but she went 10 years without having sex with anyone because she she said she had no desire. Mm-hmm. She was like, she had told me multiple times. She was like, I, I have no desire. I have no dr- I don't want that. I don't, I'm good. I have, 
I just don't think I want to have sex with anybody. And then just all of a sudden, out of nowhere, she just got it back. <laughs> and she It was like a light switch. Yeah. So, I don't know. It, it could be it could be things in your life that you just, you know, don't want to mess with. It could. I, I think your hormones are probably off. Um, if I were you, if you want to have sex with a partner, uh, you know, you, I don't know if you... I would just go see a go see a doctor go see you know like a special like a male um if you know. want to but if you don't even care about it there's so many people out there who right. who also don't want to fuck right or Honestly. just maybe even be in like an open relationship mm-hmm. if that's possible mm-hmm. I would just be open with your with your partner and the in the person and just be like listen like and you know what also i don't know if this is gonna happen but you may meet someone and like like Paige said that switch may go off and you may be like oh my god like this person makes me just want to ram it <laughs> <laughs> you don't know you know you haven't been with anybody in three years like i don't know i'd say get yourself out there find you somebody go on some dates mingle here and there see what happens for you gosh maybe because when you're pansexual, that means what you will. You, it doesn't matter. You will have sex with guy, well, girl. Not even so, just date. Just co- it's a connection you have with a human. It doesn't matter, male, female, gay, Whatever. straight, trans, like just a human. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that like maybe you could just desensitize yourself a little bit? I don't know from sex. Mm-hmm. Like let's say you know if you're a pansexual, you go have like threesomes or just you're fucking just all types of people, mm-hmm. orgies, whatever, and then you, maybe you couldn't even, like, bounce back into a normal <laughs> relationship or just want to have sex with one person. Well, I like, think, I think, it's dull. I think p- most pansexuals are in normal relationships. I don't think just because you're pan, you're out there just going wild. Does that make sense? Yeah. I think most it is a monogamous, one-on-one, normal well, relationship. Well, we, I feel like all of our friends, well, well, yeah, I have some friends too who are just pansexual. Oh, that's and they, true. And they're wild. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you're right. think everybody like, and I know I don't someone know. too who are, yeah, 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 that's true. I think just cause we know <laughs> the pans we know are going nuts. <laughs> um, I don't know. Oh my God. I, I hope you find a partner. I would say, get yourself out there and just see what happens. Be honest with your partner. Your feelings may change. Your hormones may change. Um, I don't know, but we wish you the best, mm-hmm. man. And you're so sweet. Put yourself out there. I know. Honestly, you're very sweet. Put yourself out there, honey. Love you and good luck. Love you. Hey, honey. It's driving to work to do online school here. <laughs> I was just wondering, what are some of your favorite podcasts mm. other than the viral podcast, obviously? I'd love to know. I love to listen to them when I am on my way to and from work. Love you, ladies. Love you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Thank you for listening to us. Thank you so much for listening to us. I will say this. I I do listen to a couple podcasts. I love the viral podcast. (laughs) I, when it comes out on YouTube, I watch it from start to finish. And let me tell you why. Because I forget the shit we say. And you'll say some things that I don't notice in person that you say that I'll notice in the video. And I'm like, that was hilarious. Like you'll just, you'll, you, you like to slip little things in there real quick. And I, and I'm, I keep talking and I don't know what you're saying until after I watch. Dude, I don't even know what I'm saying. (laughs) No, I know. So I, to me, I, although I'm in the podcast and I'm saying it, when I watch it, it's almost as if I'm watching it as a fan. Yeah. And I will (laughs) even talk back on the things we talk about with, like Brett or my brother, mm-hmm. like it starts conversations with us. Yeah, yeah. We were wondering like if people ever stop our podcast and talk like with their friends and then start it again. <laughs> I had some girls come up to me at a meet and greet and tell me that's exactly what they do. Oh. They said, you guys have brought our friend group so much closer because oh. we talk about things that we would have never talked about or thought about. And it creates so much like conversation within our friend group. I was like, that is so nice. That's so nice and crazy. Um, but okay. I, I listen to a couple podcasts. I, will only really listen to a podcast though if I have a long drive ahead of me or I'm traveling. So on the road we listen to a lot of podcasts. We love um Chris D'Elia's podcast and Theo Vaughn's podcast. 
Yep. Those love, are what we listen to. I love them. I yeah. love Theo. I, I could never get into, and I'm real big into um, true crime, 48 hours, documentaries. I cannot get in to crime podcasts. And I've listened to the most popular ones. I listen. I can't do it. Same. I yeah. don't know what it is. Yep. They're a li- they'll kind of put me to sleep for sure. I can't. But it's got to be a comedy for me. Yeah. yeah. I listen to a lot of sports. <laughs> you do sports radio. So I listen to the Dan Patrick Show. Um, I listen to a little bit of Colin Coward, and then, uh, hmm, I guess just Theo Vaughn. Yeah. A lot of Theo Vaughn. We love Theo. And I do listen to Tom Segura, yeah. Your Mom's House. Uh-huh. We love them. And, of yeah. course, Whitney Cummings. We, yeah, will, Whitney Cummings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll pop on a Whitney Cummings for sure. Doesn't Libby have a podcast or something? Yeah, like Libby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, and no, I'll no, go no. listen to Libby's. No, 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 they do. Um, the Slop City Called podcast. Slop City. Mm-hmm. Libby and Tina have their own podcast called Slop City. So I'll rotate all those out. And I do listen to the other ones, but the ones I listen to most are, are Theo and, and uh, Crystalia, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Clayton Ferris also has a podcast. What's his podcast called? Fuck, what <sighs> is it? I did not know. What, oh, the, what, the, what the Funk. Yeah. What the Funk. So Clayton, you guys know Clayton. Um, he, they, Him and his girlfriend, Laura, have a podcast called What the Funk, and it's like a health podcast. They talk about, like, health. Yeah, they'll bring on... Uh, guests who like entrepreneurs, really anybody. Like they brought on the girl who invented the hint water, mm, the mm-hmm. flavorful water, and mm-hmm. yeah, they bring on people who like for eyesight. If you want to like strengthen yeah. your eyes and stuff, they talk I a like lot of, that. They talk a lot about <laughs> vitamins and stuff. It's actually pretty interesting. <laughs> I love things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So hell yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, are we done with the pod? <gasps> That went by way too fast. That went by really fast. What? Hey, honeys, went by fast here. Now what are we going to do? Let's for go the get rest? donuts. Yeah, let's go get donuts. <laughs> for Rizzle. Let's go get donuts, dude. Y'all oh. are so freaking awesome. Thank y'all for tuning in every... Dude, this is... What episode is this? 17? Se- yes. 17 podcasts. That's wild. And thank you so much to everyone who goes on Instagram every week yeah. or any of the platforms and tags us yes. and takes the time to like it's put so nice. all these videos on their story. Some people will put like I know. lengthy ass videos. It's so nice. There. We appreciate y'all support. We appreciate the clout and the support. Yeah. Thank y'all for calling in. Call us, call us with some more wild stories, dude. The ball, the kick in the ball shit got me, man. <laughs> That's my favorite call in a long time. So call the mo- it- that's the most random fucking call. I know. I love that that's what came to her head. I know. That's so funny. All right. If you want to call in, our number is uh, 442 777 And always remember, you're doing great. You're looking good. And, and fuck what everybody, everybody else thinks. Get ready. Oh, yeah. We're fuck me, on. daddy. Right now, while it's still going, get ready. We're going viral. Gotti. Gotti.